Hi, this is Charles Butler, and um, I'm the host of The Reality Check with Charles Butler on Genesis Communication Network that airs 8 to 10 a.m. Monday through Friday. That's Eastern Time, by the way. Hey, folks, you know, we just uh, got uh, over the terrorist attack by a uh, Somali who we brought here uh, on a visa to go to school and to help these refugees. Guess what? Islam and democracy are not compatible. How many times do we have American citizens killed because of these deadly do-right liberal SOBs? I'm tired of it. I'm, tar I'm, I'm tired of the killing of black kids by other black kids. I I'm really just tired of that nonsense. And you should be too. I we all should be as Americans. I attended Danny Davis's um, grandson's funeral on Saturday. 15 years old. Regardless of who he was hanging with, regardless of his um, decisions that he made. Should this boy have died? 17-year-old pulls a gun out of his belt and shoots him in the head? <laughs> Hello? That's unheard of. That's television. But, you know, we allow Hollywood, as Nixon said, to destroy the very moral fabric of America. When Nixon called out the entertainment business, everybody said, oh, he's a racist. Was he telling the truth? The answer is absolutely correct. He was telling the truth. And, um, but this Somali guy who did all the shooting at OSU, my heart goes out to the people down there uh, at OSU and the students. I hope you get over this uh, uh, horrible incident. You know, we, you, you won a great glut game on Saturday, a classic. I know you guys are walking around on cloud nine. And then this punk, this no good, worthless individual who we brought over here, put in a in a school, tried to give an education to, and he's going to attack our students? He's going to attack Americans? To hell with him. I hope he's burning in hell. And I'm glad the police shot him. They should shoot him again. They should, you know, bury him with pig blood. Guess what? He won't get into heaven smelling like pig. Not into his heaven anyway. Allah. You know, they say that um, this Allah guy is... The equivalent of Satan. That's what some people say. I don't know. But I can tell you this. If you read Islam, if you read the history of Islam, it is not a peaceful religion. And anybody who tries to tell you that, they're telling a lie. A big lie. Don't be fooled, people. We need to step up. We need to act like Americans. We need to stop pandering and stop playing games with these people. We need to stop immigration. We need to stop all immigration unless we need a skill. We need to stop immigration of unskilled people. We don't have enough jobs. People should be in the streets writing about that, not about Black Lives Matter. Because Black Lives do matter. That's why we need jobs. That's why we need education. That's why we need businesses. These people come over here, they get loans for to start businesses. I never got a government loan to do anything. I don't know any many people who have, especially black people. Let's stop it. Stop the nonsense. Stop these programs. Put Americans first. This is our country, not immigrants' country. Oh, Rahm Emanuel. Well, we're going to have illegals. Uh, we're going to always be a sanctuary city. Who the hell are you to say that you're going to break federal law? You're a mayor. You're not, uh, you don't establish federal uh, policies. You're a mayor. You're the mayor of Chicago. Who cares what you think? We have laws in this country. Uh, Rom, but I know people like you don't believe that because people like you feel that you can break the law like Hillary Clinton and get away with it because you're special. Well, guess what, Rom? You won't be winning your next round regardless of who you run against because you cannot garner the, the votes you need in the black community and you will be taken out. So you can try to bring these illegals in and get them registered to vote and all that craziness and there will be uh, 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 recounts and there will be voter registration checks to make sure that these people are citizens and not illegals voting. I wouldn't be surprised if you introduce legislation to um, allow illegals to vote in our local elections. I wouldn't be surprised like the stupid people did in uh, uh, New York and I think LA illegals can vote. How crazy is that? It's all about votes. It's all about these poor, ignorant people in our country voting. Run them out. Deport them now. 
and don't bring any more refugees from Somalia, Mali, uh, Iraq, Afghan. Don't bring these people here. Leave them in their own countries in a refugee camps and let them like that boy. He need to be over there fighting for his freedom. Like our 19 year olds go over to Iraq, around Somalia, Mombasa, uh, uh, um, um, where all those kids got killed. Black Hawk down in Somalia, you know, Libya, Lebanon. We sent our 19 year olds over there with these punks uh, come over here and hide and go to school for free. And we fund it. What kind of nonsense is that? I mean, somebody help me out with that. Look, um, it's my comments for today. Chime in and comment. It's Charles Butler, host of the Reality Check with Charles Butler on Genesis. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I tell you, it's a bummer looking at this news today. Real bummer. I hope that uh, you all get over it and uh, we don't have to worry about going to trial with this terrorist. He's gone. Knife and all. And remember this, if you get into a knife attack, don't try to run from the person wielding the knife. Grab the knife. Grab the handle of the knife, the blade, and you can take it away from the perpetrator. And then you use the knife on them. So you can always get your hand stitched up. You know, you get, you get a cut of your hand, you can always get that stitched up. It's not going to hurt anything. No major arteries. You know, grab the knife. Grab the blade. Twist it. Take it away. And then go to town. Don't play around. Don't let them live. This is serious business. I think the next terrorist attack is going to happen here in Chicago on Michigan Avenue. That's my uh, prediction. And you know, I predicted a lot. I predicted Brexit. I predicted Trump. And I predict the next big terrorist attack is going to happen right there on Michigan Avenue. Anyway, on, on the Magnificent Mile. Have a good one. Uh, tune in to show in the morning. Uh, we're going to have General Tata, Tata, I'm sorry, General Tata, and uh, we're going to rock and roll. Have a good one.